Hey, YouTubers. I'm going to use my outside voice because I know that that microphone doesn't capture my voice real well. We're going to review the emergency preparedness kit and try and figure out why at least 50% of my kit contained all of these accessories. I collected over the years, and I just can't imagine why we still have shavers, more shaving cream, shavers, the long sought after Mach 3 containers, shavers, refills. Refills, refills. Now this scissors is going to replace the one in my new emergency preparedness kit that I'm going to show you in a minute. And if you don't have two or three shavers, Remington. That didn't work out so well. Shavers. And shaver refills. Okay, so this is really what I like to carry with me because it's a good flexible rubber made and it has not failed at the hinges. Old school. Let me show you what we can put in here. YouTubers, part two. Moving on to the new and exciting burn kit. Almost has the symbol of the Red Cross. Uh, definitely not sanctioned. We're going to do a quick review. How fast can we make it? Okay, tape roll, check. Good quantity, like it. Towelettes, something you'd get on an airline or after a meal. I call that gauze. They're always big on including gloves, non-surgical nitrate powder-free gloves. First aid kits seem to have gloves. And the best part is aloe vera little packets burn gel and elastic bandages that's a good one wide strips latex free individually wrapped and sterile that's a that's a bonus right there and then burn dressing sterile gel and a low adherent pad. Uh, it's got a picture of someone's hand and right across their top of their hand they've got a big bandage. So apparently if you get cut, put this on there. All right, I'm really ecstatic about the elastic bandages along with the burn dressing and I do have a bottle of aloe vera, so that's good to know that you can use it as burn gel. Glad that there's plenty of bandage gauze. Uh, not real excited about the gloves. Glad that the tape has a decent amount to it. Very important. And towelettes. Uh, take that or leave it, but it's contained, which I really like because it's specific, and what I was looking for in other first aid kits were more exactly like this that would be specific to, say, spider bites. I can show you that, what happened on my arm a little bit later. 
That's what inspired me to get more focused on my first aid kits. Yeah, it was a hard lesson learned. Um, you know, compared to this little plastic bag, it's not nylon. Uh, I don't see any sign of first aid symbols. And we have some dolphin flying through the air. And then something in a different language I don't even recognize. I bet it says first aid. And then we have first aid in English. But I doubt it's even waterproof. Uh, a lot of good gizmos, you know, for spider bites. General cuts, wounds. That's a keeper. Again, I have to reiterate the glue sticks for human skin. Super awesome. I got a package of 10. You know how many times you cut yourself? You don't want to get a band aid? Next time, I'm going to super glue. And then uh, spider bites and antibiotic ointment that's used for many, 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 many ailments. I think that's a keeper. So those two items were purchased outside of the original equipment. And they even have another step forward where you could go with a suture kit. And it wasn't something I wanted to do. So I opted for some first aid for Samson the parrot because this is for dogs, cats, and birds and it's that quick stop the steptic that powder great stuff use that for broken wing feather uh, cutting toenails too short etc. So now he's included in the kit In my Cinderella box, it almost seems like a collector's item. So I'm going to keep this. Fill it with a little foam. And it becomes insulation for the RV. What do you know? Here we go. Okay, just having fun. Just having fun. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in a bit. Part three. So, how do you make emergency preparedness fun? How can it be exciting about talking about first aid? Well, here you go. You take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and there you have the facts of life. The facts of life. La da 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 Never take yourself too seriously. So we have all this extra room. And I've got the beginning of my first aid kit.